Welcome everybody. Welcome to the International Sport Management Program, also known as ISPM at the Hague University of Applied Sciences. My name is Rosalie Schimmel. I am uh, a senior lecturer and I'm also the team leader for the ISPM program. And I was actually lucky uh, to be one of the creators of this program, which is still fairly new. With me today is my colleague, Marcella. Hi everyone, my name is Marcella Hoffmomoro. I am one of the teachers here at ISPM. I teach a lot of subjects, so you will be seeing a lot of me when you join us. I am uh, from Brazil. I'm one of the international teachers of the program. And yeah, I have some background in journalism and event management as well. So as I said, the program is fairly new. We only started in 2017, which means that our first year of students or first round of students graduated in uh, 2020 and just last year 2021 we had our second year of students graduating with us um, it's a three-year program which means that it's, it's a fast track program so in three years time you can obtain 180 credits which will then complete into a Bachelor of Arts. And we are located here in the state-of-the-art, brand new sport campus, Zuider Park at The Hague. So what to expect about the ISPM program? Well, first of all, it's that it's 100% taught in English. We are an international program. We have students from all over the world, from all the continents, and of course, the staff here is very international, the teachers such as myself, we have teachers from Finland, from Spain, from England, from Austria, from all over the world teaching here. Our Dutch teachers have international experiences as well, so everything is about the world of sports at ISPM. We are offering a lot of blended learning. We've learned a lot since the pandemic started. So we developed a nice balance between offering some content online and offering a lot of hands-on activities when we meet here on campus. Um, we have a variety of teaching methods. We can go into the formal traditional lecture, which it will happen, but we also do a lot of case studies, a lot of international guest speakers that come to join. There's field trips, there's uh, events that the first year students already have to, to set up and execute. So there will be a lot of hands-on uh, activities for you to, to learn about being a sport manager. So if you want to join our program, there are actually three things that you have to take in mind. Uh, first of all, obviously you need to have succeeded your secondary school. Furthermore, since it's a three-year program, we do want you to have a VBO diploma or if it is an international equivalent, it could be an international baccalaureate or in Germany, the Abitur. In um, England, we have A-levels. Many, many uh, diplomas will be valid and that's something that you can double check with our enrollment office. Secondly, you should have a good command of English uh, since the program is fully taught in English. And thirdly, uh, we will ask you to do an interview with us. Um, sometimes that will be even with Marcella or with myself or with another colleague. And during this interview, we will check whether this program will actually be right for you. Is it a good match for you to come and study with us? Those are the questions we will ask you during this interview. Yeah, and it's also a great opportunity to get to know you a little bit more, to know a little bit of your background. So when you come and start studying with us, we already know each other. So that's also a great opportunity and for you to ask questions for us as well. So now you've heard a bit about us and about the program, but I think it's also very nice to hear from our students. Hi, I'm Lara. I'm 21 years old and I have recently graduated from the ISPM program. The reason why I chose this program is because it brings sports and business together. Now, I work here as a junior lecturer and a program assistant. Hi, I'm Fimke. I'm 25 years old and I'm in the second year of the ISPM program. In general, I like about ISPM that we all have the same goal to develop ourselves but we all have a different background in our culture and profession. Therefore, we can complement each other and grow together. Also, I like that the program is teaching us to develop a game-changing mindset. Therefore, I learned to become a game changer by seeking to make the sports life better in an inspiring and challenging way. In my first study year, I really like the variation of sport classes that ranges from sport development and sport marketing to intercultural communication. Therefore, I learned to understand the norms of different cultures, 
to cooperate efficiently in a team. The reason why I chose this program in the first place is because I was able to do many different kinds of things. In the first year, I was able to do sports with my classmates, but also learn about marketing and finance. Then in the second year, I was able to go and deep dive into the minors and use all the knowledge that I have learned into the internships in year two and year three. All right, so one of the questions that you will hear in the interview is, are you a game changer? How do you think you can become a game changer? And why do we ask this? We at ISPN think that it's very important that we form students with a critical thinking mind, with a creative mind, because the status quo of the world, the world of sports right now, it's not that good. It needs a lot of improvement. It needs a lot of creativity. So we want you to make the world better through sports. And that's why we want you to have this game changer mindset. We also want you to have a global mindset. As I'm saying, it is an international program, so it's about thinking globally, understanding different cultures, understanding that sports is different in, in all sorts of uh, environments, in, so, in all so, sorts of uh, social worlds. Uh, you have to have a passion for learning. I mean, it is a three-year program, it is about sports, and that is also fun, but you need to learn, and that's how we grow, and, and that's how we can become game changers. So you have to have a passion for learning, that's very, very important, so you can join us. And of course, a passion for sports, that's a given. If you like sports, then that's already a good. But I think it's important to say, you don't have to be an athlete. Just have that passion for sports, maybe as a spectator, maybe you are practicing sports, that's all fine. So you don't have to be a top athlete to join our program, absolutely not. But you do need to have that passion for sports because all of the things that we teach, all our case studies that we use will be coming from the sport industry, from the world of sports. Yeah. I was never an athlete, so no worries about that. <laughs> our first year um, actually has quite a lot of um, interesting courses that we teach. As you can see, there's a variety of courses because it's important that you will be taught a fundamental knowledge of um, sport management. So courses that we teach are intercultural communication, uh, introduction to sports management, but also courses such as sports media, which is actually being taught by Marcella. Marcella, can you tell us a bit more what you do? Yes, absolutely. So in the sport media class, we learn to we learn a little bit about how the media portray sports, how athletes are portrayed by the media. Uh, so we can have this critical eye of sports media. But we also learn about how to do sport media. So one of the assessments that the students do is actually they create a sports documentary. So that's very exciting. There's a chance to already network, to go and interview people on a topic that they are passionate about. So they learn a little bit about how to communicate a message to a public. And maybe also good to add is that, um, as you can see, we offer four blocks. So each block we teach courses and after the courses are being taught, you will get an exam. Hopefully you pass that exam and you move on to the next block. We teach four blocks per year and then after one year, you should be able to obtain 60 credits. Mm. And what if they don't obtain 60 credits? That's okay. Uh, however, it is important to note that you need to obtain at least 50 credits in your first year. You have two opportunities for each course to pass the course. So most of our students actually don't have a problem with that. We do like to see students get all 60 credits in the first year, but if they get 50 or somewhere in between, that's absolutely fine. And then you can continue to your second year. And the second year is quite exciting. It's a very personal year because we want you to focus on what you really want to do as a career in sport management. So the first semester is minor. You can take one big minor or two minors uh, that will amount into 30 credits. And what is the minor? It's a chance for you to either specialize or to generalize on a topic that you think will be important in enhancing your curriculum for uh, job opportunities in the future. For instance, here at ISPM, we offer a few minors, such as the global issues in football management, uh, international sport law and the role of sport agent, and we are also gonna start offering a minor in, in sports, gaming and gamification, also a minor in sustainability in sports. So there's quite a lot of opportunities for you to continue here studying with us, but you can go and into other programs of the Hay, into other universities in the Netherlands or to partner universities abroad and find a topic that you, you think is going to be very important.
Perhaps it's learning a new language. Maybe you want to work in Spain, in the world of football in Spain, in La Liga. So maybe learning Spanish might be important for you and you can do a minor on that. After this minor, you come back and you have classes with us again. Uh, very interesting classes. You know, you're a second year student, you're doing a lot of hands-on activities as well. And then you're ready to go on your first internship. And that's a very exciting period for the students. Uh, to find their internship and to show to international organizations that you are able to do the work and to create something tangible for the organization. And this internship do, is during the fourth quarter of the year. Anything else to add about the internship? Uh, just that it's a very exciting time. Students are really looking forward to that and you really see that the difference between the first and the second year. In the first year it's all about the knowledge, getting that fundamental knowledge about ISPM and then in the second year you can start applying and that's what that internship is about right that's what yeah. students love to be able to apply that knowledge work in the field work with an organization it's a win-win situation absolutely and then your final year you're almost there you're almost getting your diploma so you still have a few classes to take a few more learnings and then you're going to go on your second internship and this one is the big one this is a full six months internship that is linked to your graduation project, your graduation thesis that you're going to write. And this internship hopefully will be leading to a job. We have a few students that actually got hired because of this internship. So that's a great opportunity for you to already start looking what will my career be and make this great first impression not only to us, the teachers, the supervisors, but for this job as well. Yeah, and to add to that, um, as you know, it's international sport management. So we do really tend to stick to the world, inter to the international world. With the graduation, we also find that it's important for students to go out there, out in the world, find their organization, do their internship with, and then, as you said, land, uh, land maybe with that dream job. And uh, so maybe let's hear more about uh, what the students think about this journey of three years here with us. Hi, I'm Chris, 23 years old, third year student of the ISPM program. And what I really enjoy about this is that it's really open and it's always encouraging us to challenge the status quo every day as we walk into the campus. The ISPM program offers two internship opportunities, one in year two and one in year three. Your last internship will be connected to your thesis project, what I will also be starting in February. What I am doing in the project is setting up a business plan for a baseball confederation. Hi, I'm Lena. I'm 21 years old and originally from Germany. I'm a third year student at ISPM in The Hague. What I really like about this program is the international classroom. So many cultures are coming together here and that makes the experience much more interesting. The second year consists of two quarters of minors, one quarter of lectures and one quarter of an internship. You will start with the two minors. I chose the ones that were provided by The Hague University. The first one was Global Issues in Football Management and the second one was International Sport Law and the Role of the Sport Agent. I chose these minors because I had no knowledge in football, neither did I have knowledge in International Sport Law. Both minors gave me the opportunity to gain basic knowledge that I will be able to apply in the future. My internship I did at a local sports company in Amsterdam and it really helped me to apply my theoretical knowledge that I have learned in the semesters before. So I applied to ISPM because I've been interested in sports since I was a child and I wanted to study and explore different parts about the sports world and that's what we do here at ISPM. Now you've heard quite a lot from us. Um, we've given you um, some information about the program and we're kind of hoping that you get an understanding of what you can do with us. But what's next? When you graduate with us, there are actually two opportunities. You could go on and do a master's degree. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you obviously can also go on into the world of sports, into the sports industry. There are a lot of career opportunities. Um, you can start grassroots level. You can go all the way up to elite sports. But also think about the different sectors you could go to. Think about the public sector. Maybe you could work for a government and uh, come up with new strategies on keep people uh, healthy and um, uh, do a healthy lifestyle. Um, you could also go work in the nonprofit sector. Think about all the sport federations, both on national level but also international level. Why not even work for the International Olympic Committee or the International Paralympic Committee? Um, 
And uh, last but not least, very big sector is the commercial sector. Uh, maybe you can work for an event. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can work uh, at a big uh, sport retailer uh, or with sports apparel. There are many, many opportunities. Um, you can see a lot of the opportunities projected here, a lot of positions projected here, but that's not all of it. And let's not forget, it's a very uh, diverse world, the world of sports. There are many, many opportunities and it's a still growing uh, world. As you can see, uh, we put also the eSports manager there. That's a new and fastly growing industry and uh, it's wonderful maybe to also be a part of that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to... I, I'm not a gamer, but I'm leading this eSports introduction into ISPM because I see the potential in the industry and how, how much is growing. And so I'm learning in this process as well. And it's super exciting. Uh, and I can't wait to have this minor going and the students uh, learning a little bit more about gaming and eSports. Yeah. Uh, but yes, you can become a sport researcher as well. That's another alternative. You can do your master's degree. Maybe you can go on to a PhD. So we need also great teachers to, in the classroom. So that's very important that uh, some of you might be interested in this career path. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our presentation. And more importantly, we hope you've learned a lot. But if you need more information, then please check out the following. In addition to our website, you can also follow us on social media. We have a Facebook page. We have an Instagram page, which our students keep it very nice, very interactive. And you can also listen to a podcast that we offer on Spotify. Or you can come and visit us in an open day here on campus or to one of our online Q&A sessions. But I think there's more. Yes, let's not forget, if you really want to, you can join us for a day. Become a student for a day. Join our first year students, sit in with their class, follow the real deal, and make sure that this is actually the program that you want to do. Feel free to join us. So, hope to see you joining us next year. Ciao. Tot ziens.